So DJI just released an update to the Action 4 where you can use the DJI Mic 2 to seamlessly work together where you don't have to have any kind of other plugs. And this has opened up the door for a lot of really cool features that you can now have on the Action 4. Mr. Black. So yeah, I have it on right now, vlogging with the Action 4 and the DJI Mic 2. And this is like a really easy setup. Like this is the most inconspicuous setup out of all of them. I actually kind of like this a lot. And do me a favor and drop a comment. Let me know if you like this feature. Also, while you're down there, if you want to hit that button right there. Also, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of this action for kind of stuff or DJI mic stuff, make sure you hit that button right there. And YouTube will do a good job letting you know when I post a video like this. All right, so now with this mic, it opens up all those doors and you can get 32-bit float recording, internal recording on the mic. So if you have a really loud sound, if you're recording a concert or a really quiet sound, you can actually edit with it and balance out that sound. You can also press the link button and start and stop recording. It's just like a remote control. You can also disable or enable a lot of settings of the mic in the menu system in the settings on the Action 4. Swipe down, go into settings, go down to the mic. You can turn on audio to video sync, which means when you hit record on your camera, it's gonna automatically record on the mic and then stop it when you stop it. You also have an audio meter on the top kind of showing you that it's working and how loud you're being. If you press the power button, you can enable noise reduction. So it'll be like yellow right there. So if there's any background noises, maybe you're near a road or something kind of like loud or droning that will turn that off. So let's go back to normal settings there. But you can also swipe over and go into your pro settings and go into the mic there. And you can also enable or disable that noise reduction, or you can even change the gain of the mic and even mute the mic if you want right there. But also check this out, you can plug a USB-C to audio adapter and you can actually listen with headphones and monitor the sound. And then right there is where you can adjust the levels of the headphone volume. You can even plug this thing into your computer, use it as a webcam like you could before, but you can also select the mic as a source, it's called Capture Inactive, and that will work perfectly with that. Now some things that I've noticed that are missing from this is that you can only do one microphone and not two, and also it does not record a separate track like the Pocket 3 does, where it will record the microphone to the video, but also record a separate track with the internal audio. So that doesn't do that, but that could be a firmware update too. So it's not like they couldn't change that later on. But the main thing you're probably going is, wait, I have to buy a Pocket 3 combo to be able to get the DJI mic. And as of recording this video, yes, that's the only way that you can get that mic too. And I mean, to be honest, it is a really killer creator combination, but I'm sure that the fact that it works with this now means that they're gonna be making it so that you could buy it separately or probably coming out with their own DJI Mic 2 system with the charging box, kind of like the updated version of the DJI One mic system. So we'll have to wait for that, but these are phenomenal little mics, this DJI Mic 2. And basically this makes this Action 4 that much better than its competitors. I mean, this is such an easy system. So I just wanted to share this update with you since you guys like these update videos. If you do wanna see more tips and tricks on the Action 4, make sure you check out this video right here. If you wanna learn more about the DJI Mic 2, you can click this video right here. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye. Can we call you Uncle Blackie? No.